An independent church congregation escaped less than 10 minutes before last night's powerful storm tore the roof off of their church. Sarah Hollenbeck found out everyone is safe, and it's all thanks to the pastor's 12-year-old granddaughter, Sarah. Yes, a 12-year-old girl, Gracie Ankrum. She lives right next door to the church. She saw the warnings on the news, and she dashed over, and it's a good thing she did. Just take a look at this damage. Roof shingles everywhere. The wooden parts of the church scattered about. Now, she says that just five minutes after she went inside the church and told everyone to get out, there was damage all over. The entire roof was blown off, and a gust of wind took the entire thing including the steeple. The winds were so strong that they picked up the roof and threw it onto a pickup truck. The church parking lot is littered now with broken shingles and wood panels. Even the steeple toppled over under the strong gusts. Pastor Doyle Ankrum es estimates that the damage is more than 200,000, but luckily the inside of the church somehow was untouched. And that's just like the neighborhood around this church. Seeing it, you wouldn't even know that a storm blew through except for this church. And as we were sitting there, there was a huge gust of wind and we looked over and the trees were bending behind the church. And we looked over and knew as a line of wind was moving in, almost just like a wall, you could see it with trees bending. We ran in the house and by the time we got from the front porch to the side of the house to see what was happening, the roof of the church had just peeled right off. And it's really incredible when you look at this because there's so much damage right here. But this entire neighborhood, even the trees around here, look like nothing happened. I talked to city officials here in Independence, and they say this is really the only damage that they had. So the pastor believes it may have been a microburst. We are live in Independence. Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.